But, Catherine, we're about a block away where the first shots rang out. We're told today a total of 11 shots were fired on that day. UT Police Chief Bob Dahlstrom this morning providing the first comprehensive assessment of that incident on September the 28th. It is a review from police response and then to the question of why. Now, the video of 19-year-old Colton Tooley entering the university library provides one of the most troubling and compelling scenes from that day. A security camera capturing him dressed in black, armed with a rifle, and waving to a security guard, as well as those at the front desk of the library. Other cameras recorded Tooley dashing, uh, Tooley dashing through the library, which is filled at the time with students and faculty members. The only shot, though, fired by Tooley while there came later on the sixth floor, and that was a self-inflicted gunshot wound that took his life. Dash camera video from patrol cars also released yesterday showing how officers moved in and closed off this campus for about three hours. Chief Dahlstrom has spent the past two weeks studying the videos and written reports to determine what, if any, changes are needed. We will make improvements and we do, will do better, but overall I was very pleased with how the university acted. Uh, as far as the guard and everybody there, and I, I think you, you can look at the, how they reacted. Most people kind of looked and said, God, well, they didn't say, but what's going on? And I'm not sure at that first look they, they understood the seriousness of it. The findings in the investigations uh, in the investigation released today include that Colton Tooley rode a bus from South Austin to the campus. He broke down the AK-47 and carried it in his backpack while on the bus. The rifle had been legally purchased by his father and given to him as a gift. Investigators say they have not yet been, a been able to determine a motive and they are still waiting for a toxicology report which will may possibly help provide some type of answers. A review of Thule's computer, uh, computer took place and it indicates that he visited several website places that deal with the topic of depression. Investigators also checked the type of computer games that he played and they say that although while many of those games involve guns, none of the games they found had college settings in them. At this point officials say this report today closes off this investigation. Reporting live at the campus of UT, Rudy Kosky, Fox 7 News Edge.